Hi, how are you? In the next set of videos, we're going to focus on Matinee in Unreal Engine 4. Real quick, Matinee is basically an animation tool that's built into Unreal 4, which we can use to animate all kinds of things. We can animate things moving around, rotating, scaling up and down. We can also animate colors and parameters on material instances. We can also animate uh, all kinds of cool stuff with effects and lights and sound and all kinds of cool stuff. So, um, the first thing I want to do is I want to show you what the end results of using Matinee can achieve. Okay, so you can use Matinee to do cinematics um, and just really cool action sequences inside of Unreal Editor um, with the Matinee tool. So let's have a look here. Right now I'm inside the effects demo which you can get off of the Unreal 4 Marketplace. It's completely free. Just If you don't have it, just go in there, click on it, and download it. I'm going to be using that scene as a pretty good example scene to go ahead and, and use Matinee and show you how to set it up. So before we do anything else, let's see what you can get with Matinee. So I'm going to hit uh, Alt and P to play this. And we get ourselves a little movie. Let's just watch it for a few seconds. I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Alright, I think you get the idea. I'm going to hit stop. Okay, so we got ourselves a pretty cool little movie here. Uh, that matinee, by the way, comes with this scene. So if you open up this scene and download it straight from the Unreal Marketplace, just hit play and you'll be able to see that matinee and all that good stuff. Okay, cool. So, uh, first things first, how do we open up a matinee? Well, a matinee, first of all, is an actor that you drop into your scene just like any other actor, like a static mesh, or a light, or anything like that. So you actually just drop a matinee actor into your scene. And if we come over here to uh, your placement editor, we can go to all classes. And down here you'll find matinee, but uh, there it is. We can also just come up here and search for matinee. And there it is. And what you could do is you could just drag and drop one of these matinee actors into your scene. Now, there already is a matinee actor in this scene because it comes with it. So let me just do a search for matinee. There it is. So if I double click on it, Unreal will take me straight to where that matinee actor is, which is right here. It's kind of in the middle of the scene right here. And the player will never see the actual matinee actor. It's invisible, but it represents some matinee animation. So to open this up is pretty easy. We go up here to the main toolbar and if we click on matinee, you'll see down here a list of all the matinee actors in your scene. Now, it's pretty useful to rename these, but we won't worry about that right now. Right now, I just kind of want to do a quick run through of the matinee editor window and the UI interface. So, let's click on that. And that's going to go ahead and open up this matinee window. Now, sometimes you get a little error message that pops up. Uh, maybe you got it when you opened this, and I just I didn't get it right now. And uh, it might say something along the lines of uh, warning, opening the matinee uh, editor window will reset all undo data. Do you wish to proceed or cancel? Just go ahead and click OK, tell Unreal yes. I'm going to go ahead and dock this up here. And let's go over some of the basics of the Unreal uh, matinee editor window. So just like other editor windows that we've seen with matinee, We've got ourselves the main menu bar up here with some pretty useful items. So under playback, you'll see that we have a play pause, play loop, stop, reverse. You'll also see the shortcuts listed over here on the right. Uh, those are the default shortcuts. You can always customize them to your liking if you wish. Up here we have the main toolbar and we can do quite a few different things from here. Some examples include adding animation keys. If you've never animated anything in your life, then this is going to be completely new to you. If you've ever done animation in something like 3ds Max or Maya or some kind of animation package, Motion Builder or something like that, you're probably used to seeing something like what you're seeing right now, something that has your uh, keyframes and all that kind of cool stuff. This is very, very similar, by the way. So if you're used to that environment, you're going to be able to pick this up pretty quick. And we, of course, we have our play, loop, stop, and reverse buttons up here again, just like up here in the main menu. 
Um, we've got the ability to create cameras. We can also change the playback speed. So if you want to play this at you know slow motion, 25% or or 50% half speed, we can. Uh, we've got some snap settings. That's for when you're messing around down here. Uh, but we'll look at that a little bit later. You've also got the ability to turn on some other options up here. Don't really worry about this stuff up here. It's no big deal. Really, the meat and potatoes of Matinee is going to be this curve editor window and your tracks windows down here so you've got this tracks window here and if I hover my mouse and uh, over the divider of the UI in the middle I could click and drag this to change the size of these windows so say for example you're not really using the curve editor up here you might want to collapse that that way so you've got some more real estate space to work in here and of course I'm working at a lower resolution just for the sake of this tutorial video but when I'm normally working in Unreal um, I've got everything maximized to uh, to my HD monitor so you've got yourself over here tracks now tracks are pretty important a track is basically anything that you can animate in Unreal so say for example you have a camera that you're trying to animate like a movie right to do a cinematic uh, shot well the camera in order to animate it you're gonna have to set up different tracks over here and if we look down here where these cameras are you can see that this camera camera one has a movement track and also an FOV angle or field of view angle okay and the movement track is going to control moving in the X Y and Z as well as rotating in the X Y and Z so this is what you use to control uh, movement rotation and movement in uh, in your animations with matinee okay you can also add other tracks. You'll notice that camera 2 down here has movement and it also has an FOV angle track but it also has a focal distance track. Okay, um, So this is actually pretty useful because what it means is we can actually set up uh, different tracks for different things. Say for example you want to animate some depth of field with the camera. Well the focal distance is going to affect that as well as the focal region. So you can animate those properties together and get some very interesting depth of field effects with the camera. Just like if you were holding a video camera in real life and you started messing around with the focus, um, which blurs things in and out depending on how close or far they are uh, from the camera. And you can do really cool stuff like that. So it's pretty, uh, pretty neat. Now in case you're wondering how I'm navigating here, it's pretty simple. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Just hover it over one of these windows and you can zoom in and out of your timeline okay if you hold down the left mouse button you can actually pan around in the timeline left and right alright so that's pretty easy just make sure you click in an empty green area because if you click on one of these little uh, triangles which represents a keyframe you're gonna notice that I end up selecting a keyframe and if you want to pan around you want to click on the green empty empty space and just drag around so you can pan and all that good stuff and then down here you're going to see you have a timeline so here we are at zero seconds and if I move this over here I could put this at 30 seconds 45 seconds 40 seconds basically whatever I want okay and uh, that's pretty much kind of the, the basic 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 overview you've also got some details over here in the details panel on the right um, most of the time you won't really be using that um, it's just kind of on in certain situations where you need to set up some custom parameters over here for whatever it is you're doing. But for the most part, when you're you know moving around or uh, adjusting your movement or things like that, you usually won't be using uh, these parameters too much over here. It just depends on what you're working on. Okay. All right. Cool. So not to overwhelm you too much uh, with too much information in this video, I'm going to end this video here. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this scene. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the cameras, all the animation in this scene, and basically break it. So there won't be any cinematics in this scene whatsoever. And we're going to see an example of building uh, a whole matinee animated sequence from scratch and setting up your blueprint so that it plays whenever you hit the play button and all that good stuff. We'll see that in the next set of videos.